and I got my high keys back and everything. This is starting to feel a lot better. Rifkin is feeling about, I'd say, at least 90% frustrated instead of 100% now. Ooh, so smooth, so good. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, if there are any sound discrepancies for today's cast, you're going to have to let us know. I will be trying to keep an eye on chat. Um, yesterday seemed to be all okay, and I have not changed any settings since then. But as we all know, nothing seems to ever work when you want it to. So, with everything still exploding here and exploit not working as I wish it would, uh, well, it's not really exploit's fault. It's my, it's my again, it comes down to the whole issue with fonts, but that's a whole other can of worms. Um, anyways, my point is, if there's any discrepancies on the stream, let us know so we can fix them for you. Well, we want this to be a good stream for you. We want this to be a great stream for us. And let's uh, let's dilly dally no longer. <clears throat> Spawning in the top left corner of the map. Kicking off this Ulima League week number three. It is the Red Zerg player artist. In the bottom right, as the Blue Terran, it is center. Oh, and I think I can fix this too. Where is it? Uh... Oh, don't let go. Nailed it. All right, cool. So that doesn't screw with my FPS. Sitting at a hundred, a hundred FPS. I can't even see that much FPS. Yo. Yo. I never realized when you hovered over a menu in this, it gives you the frame rate and also six resource stalls for 90 MS in the last minute. I don't know what that means, but you know. where are you? Just hit Control F. No, I can just hover over menu. <laughs> Wait, where's the menu option? You probably have it got like you, you make it disappear in oh. the you know the top left bar. Yo, just hit Control Alt F. Why you why you gotta? My way is actually easier this time. This is not this is Rifkin just being I don't know what, but my way is actually easier. Okay, sure thing. Anyways, we got a fantastic set of players here in front of us, and let's uh not get too cut up here in these little squabbles. My dear, but uh, <laughs> center actually we got to see a little bit during the dragon invitation. I think he blew a lot of people away with his two raxing. <laughs> so I think I'll phrase Hells that. Yeah. Uh, but oh, I see someone important in chat. I need to type to you real quick. Starbuck, why you no show qualifiers? Oh, I thought you were gonna yell at tournament. Zeph. I was oh, doing that. No, I don't know, dude. I can't yell. I can never yell at Zeph. It's more like yelling like with Zeph. Because he's usually drunk and just goes with it. Oh my ah. god. What is this? Okay, so try to open up Twitter to retweet your tweet, by the way, thinking like that would work. I'm just going to put this on screen for one sec here, guys. I'm... This is what happens when I try and retweet something at the moment. Why is Twitter so fucked? <laughs> I don't understand. Whatever. Alright, so, uh, anyways, Center is going to be playing on a longer game. And I like this because uh, I kind of made the joke allude to the whole. Um, the whole dragon invitational thing. And the problem is, like, when you do do two raxes, yeah, they've sometimes got a pretty good chance to work, but then there's some Zerg players who'll just shut it down. I don't know if he's just afraid to do it versus artists, or it's a different league, so he's not quite so worried about or the pressure or what have you, but uh, I'm liking the macro games, Terran versus Zerg nowadays. Uh, for a while, I think a lot of people were kind of, I don't know, like, can you even out deal with the banelings? Is your micro good enough? Can you, like, Marine King split? You know, stuff like that. Uh, Wood Mines have made things a little bit easier with their new Splash. I wouldn't say significantly so, but I'm loving the way the Thor's impacted this matchup because we've seen some very, very, very distinct uh, late game changes. Well, mid game changes, rather. <coughs> but I think even with uh, Mutalisk still not being nearly as auto win effective as they used to be, uh, this map still allows you to get some work done with them. This natural base, the cove behind it, it all complements it so well. So. I mean, while you're not exactly rushing to 40 Mutalisks anymore, still having about 10 is really nice. Good control, by the way, with these Reapers so far. Yeah, you sheesh. Oh man, my sound still isn't working. I think it's has to do with the Korean server, because... Wait, no. What's it we on last? Yes. Whatever, anyways. Um, yeah, we are on the Korean server yesterday. Uh, <clears throat> so I think that it's, yeah, this is a, still a really good map for the mass Mutalisks. It's also a really good map for people that like to play, um, you know, like, counter style. Uh, very aggressive, you know, instead of taking the headlong fight, they, they, they wrap around and try and get into your base. So that's what seems to be the most effective on this map. And I'm not, I'm not too familiar with artists, unfortunately, so I can't say whether or not he, uh, would or would not. That way. 
Yeah, I I don't really know artists either. Uh, one thing, of course, though, is he is. I think one of the few people in the chat channel that's actually in Grandmaster on his uh, create account, which is kind of funny because, of course, a lot of the uh, a lot of the players we're used to seeing, you know, they're usually like Masters or Diamond on their named accounts because it's not the one uh, they play on. It's always their barcodes. Like artist goes into the chat. Wasn't he? He's, there's like two barcodes in that chat. I'm pretty sure Artist was one of them. Or sorry, two uh, two Grandmasters rather. Oh, I thought you meant our chat, and then I was like, that's weird. <laughs> no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you're so hard to cast with and you're not feeling well. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, simple mistake. God, anyways, the Hellions get in here. The lanes are already ready, and the Queens are here as well, so they don't really get that many drones, and maybe not worth the uh, like, well, 12 of drones went down. Too. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think that's an attack I would have been better off using, like, just preventing creep spread more than diving for drones, necessarily. Uh, yeah. Uh, the good news is, though, I think it's excusable if you're following up with a Banshee, because that's going to be your your anti-ling force, you know, maybe even better than Hellions could be, because, you know, occasionally the Hellions get, you know, looking for one second and they get surrounded and killed. Eventually that never really happens, because, hey, queens are going to be other side of the map anytime soon, so... <clears throat> you don't really need them to take a third, as long as you have that Banshee, as long as you play it safe. Center is getting a, uh, a tank, which is kind of interesting. This could be the one emergency tank, uh, yeah, just it, in it, case it's I would I would hedge money on that too. I mean, with his wall coming down at the time it is, he's really I think scared of a counterattack after his Hellions didn't quite devastate his opponent. And uh, the one thing I want to bring up is props for not putting engineering base here in the front lines. Oh my God! Because lately we're just seeing those get torn down. Well, when you think about all the roach openers that people use, I, it like it actually doesn't make <laughs> sense anymore. Bless you. Um, Thank you. We do have artist actually. He oh, threw down a roach warren, and I guess it, since it was like not at the wall, it kind of maybe looked like artist was trying to hide it. So maybe that's why Center's a little paranoid. But actually, artist is me going for the double upgrade, sling bling Vita. I like I like the concept of playing it safe at the same time though. You know, some players we see don't even put that wall down, and later on in the game it kicks their ass because lings run by, roaches have no problem getting top of the tanks. Uh, Hellings will get to the middle line once again. Queens, why are you so out of position? Yeah, a good drone uh, pull to attack the Hellions, though, really reduces the uh, amount. I think that was about 7 more still, though. Uh, was that 12? 19? You know, what is kind of interesting, too, uh, Queens taking the extractor aside, there's uh, a very distinct difference seeing some players respond to that. Um, it's hilarious watching some of the best plays you've ever seen in your life just flounder when it comes to dealing with aliens running into the mineral lines, whether it's Zerg with it's Protoss. Uh, but that was a, that was a very calm, collected response. And Marauder still <laughs> normally you actually have a handful of Marines, and that's why you still have to kill the Overlord. <laughs> but he stems for Marauders because you know what? He's preparing for roaches, guys. As Zombie Grub said. Yeah, he really is. He was using, he was using two Marauders at a time, uh, where usually you would not have more than two tech labs. You know, ideally, actually, against uh, Mutaling Bling. Oh, <laughs> nice Splatty berets. Already impressed with Artist. Great center. Or er, center, yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, the Lings would have gotten in there and it would have been really annoying. But you know, the scout information actually would not have been too big because well, he's already scouted the thirds down <laughs> so what else are you really gonna scout well i, I just meant more bio. like we just see everyone always let those things through this like never the dedication actually raise the deep <laughs> i'm just saying like you know five lings annoying but not necessarily like you know super annoying to get into your main you just send like your, your production back and it's okay mm -hmm. well moving on up here we're gonna take out this fourth base Possibly. I mean, this is quite a large force. It's just mostly lings. Not sure where yeah. the bailings are at. They're just now morphing in, so might have a couple ready for this. But as we said, the first wave of uh, Zergling's not too much of an issue um, for Marauders to deal with. Just gets in a good spot behind the good uh, mineral lines. Really surprisingly, a Marauder heavy. Of course, he was preparing for Roaches, but it's it's kind of working out now in a in a weird way. Like. Uh, mass lings would actually be more effective against his composition than a lot of bane lings, you know, because all the bane lings would explode in marauders, and that's not exactly effective. Plus, um, you know, of course, they targeted down that hatchery really, really quickly. Ugh. Oh, whoops. <laughs> you know, funny enough, the thing is, too, the marauders are uh, beefing up to take the friendly fire from the wood mine, whereas marines usually are not. Damn. I think Artist really was planning on going for something with Roach, and the fact that it was scouted, he tried to transition without doing any damage with it. That's really hurting him. I mean, he's down by about 20 supply, oh. and he really shouldn't be. Oh, he's well, just 
Stop supporting those. Yeah, you know, we're too busy praising his early diva. This time, not gonna work out as well. SCV's gonna be pulled off. That's not too bad. He's gonna keep pushing on the other side of the field. Artist really needs those links back at home, though. I feel like the counter attack damage was nice, but uh, the potential to feel is somewhat wasted. Um, yeah, I didn't really get a whole lot off this. Banelings uh -oh. will hold, though. Oh, yeah, those Banelings, though. That would have mind hit plus the. Uh Exploding on the Marauders is actually fairly good at the end, but you know, for someone who's 20 supply up, that wasn't the best. I mean, he should have been able to really roll, I think, yeah. instead trade evenly. Just the Mutalisks with what little units he has and decides to get on out of there. There's still what am I lurking about, so let's see if he cleans that up or not. These things are really that? easy to miss. Come on. There we go. Too bad. If he had lived in like five more seconds, that would have been some more kills. I think I got quite a bit of kills so far, but uh, there's the mutilus we talked about before. They are not as heavily utilized anymore, guys. There's a lot of reasons for this, but uh, one of the big ones that, or one of the big things that hasn't changed is the effect of this they can do through harass. I mean, if you're going to be dropping those mutas, like central pushes, right? But oh wait, there's mutas in your natural mineral line. Turn around, you have to defend. Oh, mutas on top of your production. Turn around, you kind of gotta defend. I mean, he's hardly pumping out those 13 marines at a time, but he is getting a Thor, and I, uh, I really like this actually. By the way, shout out to everybody who attended our horrible Thor pun session yesterday. That was awesome. There's some really good ones that came in like after the broadcast went offline. Talk about how like the puns were Thorable and stuff. <laughs> I think that's probably yeah. my favorite one. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty good. Uh, <clears throat> Sancho, he's gonna get the two-two and the drilling claws soon, uh, as well as plus one vehicle weapons, which is always kind of funny to see. Red artist, you know, he started his plus two carapace a little late this entire game. He will be on par with upgrades, and now now it's looking more like a normal game. Like, the supplies are really even, you know, they had the Zergs on four bases. It's what we expect. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the weapon upgrades coming out too. This will help out the uh, fours, of course, and if he decides to invest in any of these things, but he definitely won't. Uh, three wood mines at a time, though, pretty nice. Wood mines have got a sort of very special spot in the game, but the problem is the artist is looking to skip right past a lot of this sort of... I don't know, the back and forth phase of the game and just head straight to that, that hive tech. Once he does, these marines, well, not gonna be that scary anymore. This base should probably go down. Yeah. Look at the new possibly counterattack instead of defending. I don't know if I like this choice. Artist is a little bit divided here. He wanted to go south, but now realizes he may need to stay here in the north. Uh, what am I will actually almost kill all the marines? It does oh! kill all the marines! Oh! Who was even there to get on the I, I don't know, but this is what I'm talking about with Widow Mines being like the greatest buff to Zerg you've ever seen. Like, WTF, man. WTF, seriously, he just lost like two drops to his own Widow Mines. Blizzard, please! Yeah, and he didn't kill that base off to the left somehow, right? Like, I don't understand that either. Wow, both bases still stand, yeah. This is kind of falling apart for center real quick here. What am I going for the Zerglings? Not the Bailing, sadly, but he will be able to kite back off of Creeper. This still loses the Marines to it, though. Uh, Marauders, please. Hatchery, please. Uh, oh, whoa, actually, uh, the Lings go a little too far, but still. I like oh, this unloading on the high ground. Position. Yeah, super reasonable position. You should actually be doing this, you know, while you attack, not just the last ditch effort. Uh, it kills the base off to the left as well, and really, one drop will kill the base off to the right, and I'm sure we'll get around, around to that sooner or later. Oh, what am I hit? Not too shabby. Uh, center still, I can't believe that. Like, we, we almost, like, I wish we had play-by-play -play we could go back to just to watch that happen again. Because I want to know what was going off. I'm guessing it must have been, like, one drone that had been left in the, uh, in the refinery or something. Or the extractor. Just mining it out is my best guess. Because, like, what else could have gotten into the heart of the Marines without the Marines triggering to attack it, right? Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. But a counterattack is going on right now, and I think that's Artis's... Maybe his best plan because he just lost two bases and he yeah. really needs to do something to center. At least kill the fourth. Hopefully, kill uh, like a lot of SCVs in the third and natural. Hella awkward banelings getting poked out here in the middle of the map. Uh, not an issue for me to deal with whatsoever. Thor is actually shooting overlords instead of the. Uh, there we go, banelings. <laughs> yeah, he cleans up the banelings. With that, the uh, middles are not that big of a threat. Dropping the natural base here of artists did get quite a few kills as well. His drone count hasn't suffered too heavily. I mean, he's down 42 workers, but still sitting on a good 57. Uh, but as you pointed out, when you lose a lot of bases, you just simply lose a lot of bases. And artist is constantly getting caught out of position. Lots yeah. of little things happening in this game that are completely shutting him down at every turn. Things really went uh, went south very quickly. <laughs> All of a sudden, you're down two bases, and now you're down 20 supply. And also, 
Now down an upgrade. Sinner did uh, was able to finish that plus three weapon. He could probably get the armor as well, but you know, the weapons are probably the most important. Uh, very little micro going on the other side of the field, but back at home, I mean, <clears throat> to the player day fortress, the rally of marines with a couple of missile turrets. These mutilists are still limited in damage. Uh, nice snap off there with the widow mine. Uh, does take out the manly nest, and as that falls, GG is going to be called, and center will take game number one in this best mm. of three. It is a best of three, isn't it? Oh, wait, is it? The best of one. Oh, that's no, right. It's the best of one until round of 16. Right, okay, that's my bad. I forgot the Luma League. Well, I mean, you know, the past two, there hasn't been enough people to have the best of one, so. Well, it's I was not really your fault. So. But okay, so center takes the game.